In an economy, we tend to think of an economy in terms of three factors of production, land, labour and capital. In equilibrium, we would expect the marginal rate of return on capital, the marginal rate of return on wages and the marginal rate of return on land to be equalised. If an economy is at a low level of growth, so its income per head is, is low, the quantity of capital employed in that economy is low. If an economy is at a high level of income, the quantity of capital applied in that economy is high, as is the quantity of labour, as is the quantity of land. As we increase the quantity of capital employed in an economy, its marginal rate of return will tend to fall, according to economic theory. So the first unit of capital we employ gives a very high rate of return. As we employ successively more glumps of capital, the marginal rate tends to fall. So this means that economic theory tells us that in a high income economy, the marginal return on capital should be very low. And in a low income economy, where low levels of capital have been employed, the marginal return should be very high. So into this economy, let's spring one galump of capital. Where is it going to go? Well, it should go to the low income country because the marginal return is high. But actually what's been happening in the last 20 years is the capital has been going from the low income countries to the high income countries. In a sense, capital has been flowing uphill rather than downhill. This is the thing that I'll try to explain in this lecture.